Hi guys, it's Wayne McMaster here. Got another video for you today uh, looking at ConvertKit. Now what I'm actually going to be doing today is showing how to set up a landing page so people can sign up for your newsletter. But one of the things that's really cool about this is I will show you how you can get this landing page showing up on your website using the ConvertKit plugin. But also, this is one way you can actually set up an email newsletter without actually owning a website. So if you simply have a YouTube channel or maybe you're, you've got a really strong social media presence, you can actually sign up for ConvertKit and have a landing page set up that they host and people can sign up through there without necessarily having a website. So I'm just going to get in and we'll um, have a look at it. But basically this is a demo account I started. I've actually got a few videos I've already created showing you how to use ConvertKit, how to sign up and get it started on your website if you have one, and also how to send an email, how to explore automations. Uh, those are all going to be in a playlist that I'll link to below. But today we're going to be started with uh, basically getting a page up and running, like a landing page so you can get people signing up. So we're going to start off with these forms here. I'm going to go up to forms at the top. You see we've got a basic form already created that we uh, put onto a demo site. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to new form. And you see we've got here form or landing page. So this is where it starts to get pretty fun. We're going to go into landing page and I'll just show you some of the options you have. So basically we can go through and all of these are really highly customizable. Obviously we've got some basic thing here like we've got like a basic, uh, if I go to select, here we've got this this nice basic form. It's just got an email address. Um, we can change some options. We can change out change what the placeholder text is. We can add in fields here, such as you know first name, and we can even move them up and down. We can change a lot of things around. If I click on the cog, you can see we've got our settings down the right here, and I can change you know where we want to redirect to after they've confirmed their subscription. There's a whole bunch of options here. The background image can be changed if we want to. We can actually upload an image. So you see we've got a different image now. We can basically go through and change whatever we want. And it's really cool. It's actually really quite simple to do. I'm actually going to just head back now. I'm going to leave this page. Back to landing page. And you see like there's so many different layouts you can choose from that it's really quite easy to get started. You simply change a few things around. You can change colors, fonts, that sort of thing. And get it looking exactly the way you want really easily. Even this one here. Um, which I checked out before has the circles at the top and you can see here we can actually add images in here so you, it's really quite flexible the different uh, landing pages they have so you can download your course so you can go through and change anything you want once again you can add fields quite easily um, like you really have so much flexibility and there's so many designs that I can't see any need for anyone to really come up with a custom landing page design. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go down to, we're going to go into this one here and we're going to work on the, off that one there. So obviously it's pretty straightforward. All of them have the settings down the right and you can basically click and type what you want to. So what I'm going to do is let's say we've got an, a free opt-in we want people to download. So we're going to change this just to download your PDF here. Obviously, you want something a bit more enticing, so maybe uh, if you're selling diet secrets, download your diet secrets here, you know, your muscle diet secrets or something like that, and you can basically give a bit of a description here to download your free guide. Simply subscribe to our email newsletter below to receive instant access. And obviously when coming in here, your privacy is very important. We will never spam or sell your email address. It's nice for people to see so they know that uh, yeah, you're not a spammer, that sort of thing. And once again, I've got first name and email address in here. If I want to remove the first name, I can just delete the field and have the email address if I want to. I can also change, I can say, enter your email address, subscribe, I can actually change that to sign up and download. So you have a whole bunch of options here. You can actually turn this one off if you don't want the Power by Convert Kit there. It's just, it's grayed out for now. But if you preview the form, 
you'll see it's actually not there. So that's pretty cool. The fact that you can really easily go in, change any of these details is really quite simple, really quite easy. And over here, if I click, actually if I click on the buttons, you'll see down the right here, we can go through and change some of our other settings. We can edit the email contents if we send an incentive email. We can set up our download here and upload a file. So if we have it, a PDF we're trying to send to people, we simply put that in there and ConvertKit will handle the rest. And the form background, maybe we want to make that black just because we want it to be a little bit more, just something a little bit different. We're going to change this background image. You see we've got this new image here and we simply just go through and change the bits and pieces that we want to. If I click here, I can change the color of this. Maybe I want it to be more of a white. Maybe I want this button. Maybe I want to make that a bright red. And the font, wait, no, let's make the background bright red and the font white. And you can see how different the form looks already. Once again, if I preview that, this is our new landing page for our website or if we don't want the website at all and maybe I just change this to landing page form. All right, we've basically created our form. It's linked up to our list. Um, when we do our automations, we can choose this form, landing page form, give it a, we can give it a more, more descriptive name and set up our automations from there so that way they receive a predetermined set of emails. So we can do everything we can usually do with ConvertKit with this landing page. And now if I want to share this without actually putting it on my website, and I will show you how to put it on your website after this, I'm just gonna to go to share. And it says we host this page for you automatically. So we simply copy this link. That's it. So now if I open up a new tab, paste that in there. Here's our form. We can sign up and go from there. We can type in our email address. And people can sign up, receive their download. It's very simple. That's ex exactly how you could do it. And as long as you have this address here, um, you can even uh, shorten it if you want. If you do have a domain but not a website yet, you can, in a lot of uh, cPanel, set up uh, links that will redirect quite easily. But um, that's basically how you can get a form going and not even own a website. If you get a catching image there, you probably want something a bit better, a bit more branded and you get something a bit more exacting on here, but you get the idea, it's quite simple. The other thing I wanna do, if I'm gonna switch back. So now I'm on my uh, WordPress website. It's a small website that I actually have as live, but um, I'm just gonna use it to show you how you can easily get the landing page onto your website as a part of your website. So if you're using WordPress, I have the ConvertKit plugin installed down here under ConvertKit. Now I actually just need to refresh these forms in order to uh, bring my new forms in. Um, I've actually, so if you have trouble with it, just simply refresh the forms and they'll show up. But otherwise, when I create my new page, I can type in subscribe at the top here. And by scrolling down, you see I've got this convert kit section. I can choose a form to show up by default, which could be the power form, something like that. But I'm actually going to, whoops, <laughs> actually going to go down to the landing page section here and type in landing page form. And if I want to, I can also even add a tag to apply to view it. So if someone visits this page, I know I can actually see that they viewed it by adding this tag in there. So there's all these really cool little settings you can use, but by simply choosing landing form page here, I can publish this page, publish. So you see I've got this address here. So webdesignmarabout.com.au slash subscribe three, because I've got a few other subscribe pages. I click view page. And you can see our page is loading. So that's basically how you can host the form on your website as well. It literally takes out your entire website and replaces it with this convert kit page. So that's pretty easy, pretty simple. And it's a great way that if you want to simply have, if you want to be able to set this up so there's no um, sort of exit. So that way that they're either on the page or they're leaving. It's a good way. It's a nice little squeeze page to get people to sign up for your email newsletter. So. I hope you found that video useful. Like I said, if you want to learn how to use ConvertKit plugin for WordPress, uh, I will have a video up for that soon. If it's not up already, it should be in the playlist linked to below. Um, 
and I've got a few other videos also how to use ConvertKit and get set up, get going. So I hope you found that video useful. If you want more, check out that playlist. Otherwise, I will see you next time.